हेलो फ्रेंड्स हाउ आर यू ऑल होप यू आर डूइंग ग्रेट एट वेरियस एस्पेक्ट्स ऑफ योर लाइफ व्हाट मेक्स अस ह्यूमन बीइंग्स अ वेरी स्पेशल स्पीशीज आवर एबिलिटी टू थिंक स्पीक रीड राइट एंड प्रिजर्व द नॉलेज दैट कुड बी पास ऑन थ्रू जनरेशंस राइट दैट गिव बर्थ टू सिविलाइजेशंस एंड कल्चर्स being the culturally rich civilization the indian culture has a compendium of tales fables lores spiritual and wisdom books and much more you may look at these literary gems from the spectacle you want but you cannot ignore its impact on building morals ethics and preserving and transferring knowledge through generations One of the interesting set of tales explores the Shavatar. As the name suggests, it talks about the ten avatars Lord Vishnu takes to re-establish the righteousness or dharma. You can say he follows his promise. Yada yada hi dharmasya glanir bhavati bharata abhyutthanam dharmasya tadatmanam srujami ham. परित्राणाय साधूना विनाशाय च दुष्कृता धर्म संस्थापनाय संभवा युगे युगे द हॉली ट्रिनिटी ब्रह्मा विष्णु एंड महेश ऑल हैव देयर स्पेसिफिक सेट ऑफ टास्क डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड अमोंग्स दैम वेल ब्रह्मा इज रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर द क्रिएशन एंड महेश और लॉर्ड शिवा invokes the destructions to clear the path for the new beginning new creation vishnu is responsible for well being or yoga kshema of all the species through the cycle he does needs to take various avatars as per the need of time to set up the order in the society as per the scriptures the following are the 10 avatars of him मत्स्य कूर्मो वराह नरसिंह थवामन रामो राम से कृष्ण से बुद्ध कल की चते दश इफ यू लुक एट द क्रोनोलॉजी ऑफ दिस अवतार्स फ्रॉम द लॉजिकल एंड साइंटिफिक पर्स्पेक्टिव यू कैन ऑल्सो सी द इवोल्यूशन ऑफ स्पीसीज क्लियरली हाव एवर टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट देम फ्रॉम द किड्स लिटरेचर पर्स्पेक्टिव Recently we got a chance to read the Shavatar series by author Sundari Venkatraman this book fall in kid special literature category today we are going to talk about the first book in the series Matsya and the first avatar being a gateway to the virtual world explored within The cover page is responsible for the first impression of the book and thus it can influence a remarkable number of purchase and or read decisions for sure. Let us take a look at the cover page of this book. As you can see the light to dark gradient of green color from the center to outwards gives it a calm look. In the center you can see the illustration of Lord Vishnu in his traditionally worshiped chaturbhuj pose with all the hands are full with respective elements emerging from a fish that is matsya's mouth As you can see it is not very attractive but faithful to the story cover page Usually we talk about a book in two distinguished segments dedicated to the book story and our views for the same respectively however based on the size of this book we are merging both these segments together in this review podcast i will try to avoid as many spoilers as possible but i need to quote some elements from the book to give you a fair idea about the quality of content so you yourself can decide whether it is something you enjoy reading so some spoilers might be there so please listen ahead this podcast with the consent and this is a very short book just 37 pages and the author has focused in communicating her thoughts in very easy language 
and that works pretty well for the target readers it is worth to note that this book is self published by the author under the banner flaming sun usually we miss reading acknowledgments and preface sections is we think that they are not directly related to the content of the book however i personally suggest you to not to miss these segments however i personally suggest you to not to miss those segments they not only give you the glance to the author's thought process behind seeding of the book but also lets you explore a different side of his or her persona For example the author comes from a family of traditional values and has a special bond with her grandparents it emphasizes the traditional growing up in bharatiya culture where kids used to hear story from either of his or her grandparents when trying to fall asleep at night the author must have had such growing up as she dedicated this book to her parents and grandparents The author introduces the readers to the cycle of yugas and creation and destruction and recreation in simple words. Then comes the exploration of how the current universe came to existence. I like the way she introduces the legendary characters to the reader. The exhausted Brahma, despite his ability to see in all directions, didn't notice the asura hayagriva who was eyeing him from far away earth hayagriva the asura with the head of a horse and the body of a man was built like a small mountain simple crisp meaningful and convincing right but that doesn't mean the author doesn't explore something relatable especially by the target readers the kids and young adults of the current time for example the sea close to that area contain fresh water due to melting of the icebergs and hence help to quench the asura's thirst only too well the ancient indian scriptures talk about many creation recreation cycles and thus the stories often look like they are having overlapping timelines you need to dig deeper in the stories to understand them quite well also understand that different versions of the stories across various geographical regions are popular even while reading this book you can see some words are written as they are pronounced in the southern part of india for example satya yuga or king satyavrat of course there are words like Ajneya Chakra, which could have been written better. The author doesn't let a chance to elaborate word plays go when the opportunity is there. For example, blood poured from both of them, turning the blue waters into the colors of setting sun. The story of Vedas and Hayagriva, how the apocalypse was scheduled and how Lord Matsya guided the king to save the species may be already known to you and if not better to read the book and explore them another positive aspect of the book is its glossary segment i like reading this small and interesting book on a side note if you are a kindle unlimited subscriber you can read it for free as of now so don't miss the chance So in summary the book hits the bull's eye for the target readers it introduces the readers to matsya avatar in quite an interesting way definitely must read for the young adults who are not much familiar with the tale think a review's rating would be around 7.5 stars out of 10 so Have you already read the book? Are you planning to read it? What do you think about this book review? Do you find it helpful in deciding whether to go for the book or not? Please do share your genuine remarks via comments below. If you have enjoyed listening to the review, please hit the like button 
and do not forget to share it with your friends and other fellows whom you think such reviews interest more till we meet with our next podcast bye bye take care namaskar